Our last award is for Legacy in Sustainable Development. This was a, an additional award created to honor the overwhelming achievements that the Brightwater Project has made in multiple categories of green building and sustainability. This Excellence in Green Building Awards Award goes to the Brightwater Treatment Plant and Environmental Education and Community Center. Matter. We'd like to honor and ask the rest of the Brightwater team members that are here today to come on up and join us. Come on, folks. <laughs> In a project like this, obviously, we have involved hundreds of King County staff and they've contributed to the. Uh, you know, I can actually just hand this over to you and have you tell about it. How would that be? <laughs> no, I. I think it wouldn't be fair to not share this award with literally there's hundreds of staff at King County that have been involved in this project, um, thousands of con uh, construction workers, and, and uh, we can't have everybody in the room to share the, this receiving this award, but I think it's appropriate anybody that had anything to do uh, with this project and uh, the final product here, I just want to make sure that we have an opportunity to acknowledge you. So. Although I don't know what this stage is tested for exactly, but. It can hold us all. I okay, okay. So, and there are probably other people here who are just being shy, right? Yeah, about I, coming I up. see a few out. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, come on, come on, come on. So I'll just say a couple more words about this plant. First of all, has there ever in the history of the world been a sewer plant where well over 2,000 people showed up to see it open? I mean, seriously sewer plant. Um, <laughs> so the Brightwater system consists of, of a new 36 million gallon per day treatment plant. And I think we're treating about 8 million gallons a day right now. Is that right? 8 to 10? Um, and ramping up. Uh, and the marine outfall that discharges highly treated water uh, back into Puget Sound. Brightwater supports King County's mission of protecting public health and the environment while integrating wastewater treatment, water reclamation, and the site's natural systems within a framework designed to educate the public and sustain nature. On the Brightwater Treatment Plant's 114-acre site is the 15,000 square foot, this building, Environmental Education and Community Center, designed to meet LEED Platinum standards. And this is North America's largest membrane bioreactor technology system. It produces reclaimed water of such high quality that you can use it for agriculture or irrigating public parks, golf courses, and play fields. Since the start of construction, 13,840 tons of fly ash have been recycled by using it as a cement substitute. Recycling cuts carbon dioxide emissions by the same amount as taking nearly three thousand cars off the road. The northern 43 acres, right up here, of Brightwater were developed to enhance salmon habitat and wetlands. Reforesting stream corridors created significant additional habitat along Little Bear Creek. So we reused more than 200 trees. We planted more than 22,000 native plants. We enhanced nearly a quarter mile of stream corridor and created another 350 feet of stream corridor. We created more than half an acre of new pond habitat. We constructed four acres of enhanced emergent and forested wetland habitat. And we built a sewer plant. <laughs> For the scale and comprehensiveness of sustainability efforts employed, we want to recognize the incredible accomplishments of county staff over a long period of time. The folks who built bright water in an environmentally sustainable way. Congratulations to this team, to all who came before you, uh, including two county executives, actually three, it goes all the way back to Gary, and the entire Brightwater team. Congratulations. <laughs>